Gold. Welcome back. I'm Rebecca Talley, staff writer here at Gold Bio. Be sure to check out goldbio.com for great deals on quality reagents and other resources for your lab. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to share your electronic lab notebook with your colleagues, as well as how to set reminders in your electronic lab notebook. If you missed parts 1, 2, or 3 of this video series, go ahead and click the link to go back. Let's get started. Okay, so the last features we're going to talk about are sharing your notebook, making reminders, and then signing off on your entries. So let's talk about sharing first. We're going to go back to, let's just use project 1 this time, our notebook, and let's say we want to share our contact information with someone. What you're going to do is you're going to share, to share the page, I should specify, to share the page, what you're going to do is click the share up here in this right hand corner, this arrow, and you can either send the note, you can use Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, email, or just send a link to your Evernote account. What I like to do is go ahead and just email it. And it's gonna be the same process for any type of um, sharing method. And what you do is you go ahead and enter the email and you're just gonna enter a fake email. So let's just say goldbio at goldbio.com. And then you can add a message if you want. Here's my lab contact info and then you send it. The other thing you can do is actually send um, the note itself and that's going to use this chat to send it to other Evernote users and then you can change whether they can edit and invite other users if they can only edit or if they can't even edit and can just view. So that you can change that that way and that has to be someone who has an Evernote account or it will prompt them to make one. So that's how you would share. If you want to share a whole notebook, it's the same way, except for you're going to click the share up here in the notebook section and hit share notebook. And it's going to prompt you the same way. And that's going to be done only through an Evernote account as well. To set reminders, let's go ahead and go to week two. I haven't signed off on this entry yet. So, so let's say I need to set a reminder. All you have to do is go ahead and click here on this alarm clock icon and I've added a reminder. If I want I can ha change it to notify me at a certain time tomorrow in a week or you can pick your own and if you have the Evernote mobile application you can get a notification sent to your phone in that way to let you know at a certain time that you need to work on your experiment or work on your lab entry. So that's how you do that and then you click it you can either mark done, clear it if you didn't mean to do it or you can alter the date and time by clicking notify me. And what that does is it has a reminder section up here on your table of contents and it'll show you which notes have reminders added to them and then you can go ahead and check it off when it's done and mark it done and it'll cross it off from your to-do list. The other thing I want to talk about is signing off on your experiments. If we go back into the same lab notebook and go into week one, you can see how I signed off my experiment here. I signed with my name, the date, and the time that I completed it and I did the same at the end of this one. So say we want to sign off on week two. All I'm going to do is go ahead and type my name. Let's see, the date's 7-14-2016 and then it is 2:19 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and type that and I like to make it a little bit smaller just so it doesn't stand out as much as the information I actually want to read. Let's go ahead and make it 10 and then I want to change the color to red. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it that way. And then I have my signature on there. Now, a really important thing when you're doing science, ex science research is signing off on your experiment and not being able to edit your content. Well, with an electronic notebook, that's a little difficult because I can obviously go back and still change what I've typed here, even though I've signed off. So a way to get past this is to print your lab notebook page after you signed off to a PDF. So what I'm gonna do is hit file and print, and we'll go ahead and give that a sec to come up and then I'm going to end up choosing to print to PDF. And if you have a Windows computer, it looks a little bit different, and you'll go ahead and change your file format to PDF and select that, and that's how you'll print to PDF that way. But this is the way you'll do it for a Mac, and you'll go ahead and print this whole note, and it'll be signed off, and now that it's a PDF, you can go ahead and save it to your computer or print it out, and it can't be altered because there's no way to change it. And so that way you can kind of maintain that you have followed an audit, you have kind of an audit trail there, and you haven't altered your experiment after you've completed it. And that'll be good for publishing purposes, and if you ever need to apply for a patent or anything like that. That concludes our video.
This concludes our Evernote video series. If you liked what you saw, be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe to our YouTube page. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and visit goldbio.com for all of your research needs. See you next time!